everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the mid-month love readings for August 2017 for all zodiac signs this is going to be for Gemini's moon sun and rising so let's get into your reading see what spirit has for you guys if you guys are interested in private consultations look at the description box below and you'll find my contact information on there also if you'd like to support my channel uh, you'll be able to find my Patreon address on there as well, um, you know, just to keep me motivated and um, give you guys or provide uh, for you guys better quality videos and also uh, give you guys more, um, give you guys, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, spirit? Give you more videos basically I can't think of the words I try to focus when I'm shuffling the cards to keep my mind blank at the present time so excuse me if I okay I need to focus on you guys now <laughs> sorry okay so let's get into your reading Gemini's Gemini's for the mid month of August 2017 Gemini's Gemini's Okay, I'm having trouble shuffling your cards uh, for a while now. Uh, so for some of you guys, you guys are dealing with blockages at the present time when it comes to your love life. Uh, what I mean by blockages is could be uh, miscommunication, not understanding each other, uh, making arguments and fights over nothing, basically. Uh, keep in mind that we just recently experienced the lunar eclipse and we're getting prepared to um, experience the solar eclipse uh, so all of that energies come definitely come into play okay so whether it's you that's been extremely sensitive or whether it's your partner that's been extremely sensitive try the best you can to be compassionate and understanding okay you have a card popping out already understanding and just try the best you can to support one another okay we are all in this together. Alrighty. Spread what are the messages for Gemini's regarding their love life for mid month of August 2007. Alrighty, let's get into your reading. Okay, the center issue when it comes to your love and romance, you have the world card. The world card is talking about an ending cycle. So there's something ending here, whether it's relationships, whether it's the ending cycle of agitation, aggravation towards one another, um, or whether it's dealing with a lot of emotional struggles at the present time, okay? Now, the cards that are symbolized uh, or how you see and view the situation, you have the six of wands. So there's a feeling of hope. There's a feeling of wishing. Uh, the Six of Wands definitely represents victoriousness, uh, achievement, uh, celebration. Uh, but this is your crowning energy at it, as it is the first card representing you. So again, uh, there's a feeling of hope. There's a feeling of wanting to know that things are going to get better. Uh, you have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is dealing with a lot of emotional... I'm not sure if you can see this right. Uh, there's a feeling of feeling stuck, not being able to move forward. Uh, the Six of Wands also represents... Um, you know when you set a goal or you make up your mind about something and with the eight of swords it's being represented as there is a little bit of frustration there you're feeling stuck you're feeling like you're having difficulty moving forward now you have the seven of cups here and the seven of cups is a representation of scattered energy so this is how you view your partner so either your partner is not allowing you to expand and grow or it could be that they are extremely jealous and extremely possessive and that's the reason why you're feeling stuck. That's the reason why you're feeling not yourself as your natural self is a six of wands, uh, being very charismatic, being very extremely social. And with the eight of swords, it's like the opposite of that. So again, like I said, there's a power struggle within yourself, Gemini, um, and feeling a little bit of, you know, stress 
uh, feeling like you don't have control over certain situations. And then you have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is always scattered energy or having too many, um, too many ideas, too many goals that you're wanting to achieve that you have trouble focusing on just one to try to aim for and achieve. So it's like um, one day you're like, you know, I want to do this. Um, this is my goal. And then, you know, next thing you know, someone's talking to you about a new idea and you're like so interested and excited about it that you completely forget about the one before that. So it's like what, what Spirit's telling you is try the best you can to pick out of the bunch one thing that you're trying to achieve and put all your determination towards that to be able to see it manifest. Now you do have the seven of wands here. So you have two sevens. Uh, sevens are always spiritual numbers. And again, when it comes to your relationship, uh, you're being pulled towards different directions. Uh, this seven of wands definitely, it's, it's a feeling of having to protect yourself or you're fighting against, um, you know, fighting against the waves of the ocean, uh, trying the best you can. And for some reason, not seeing any type of results when it comes to your relationship. I feel that this is a love reading, but I feel that more than anything, this probably has to do with family or the home life because you do have the world card here and the pentacles, um, which is the material. It can also be that for some of you guys, you guys have, you know, brought on burdens to your partner, whether it was lies or whether it was deceit, whatever like that, something like that. Um, and now they feel like they have to protect themselves and they're not as trust, like they don't have so much trust in you. They don't confide so much in you. Uh, and that's the reason why you feel like they just, you know, instead of being with you, they're against you. This is how you're seeing the situation. So anyways, how your partner's viewing the situation, they have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely a renewal here, a new beginning when it comes to the material, when it comes to the manifestation of new beginnings. There is the Nine of Swords right over it, on top of it. So the Nine of Swords is definitely anxiousness, not sleeping well. Um, they see you extremely stressed at the present time, or they see you like you're in a bind. Uh, again, it could be money-wise. Uh, like you're being a little bit tight with money. Uh, but there's definitely a message coming through and it's a message of positive impact that's going to bring, um, that is going to bring definitely good feedback to both of you guys, okay? And this message could be very well, something that has to do with the family, which is positive results and new beginnings or being able to move forward. Uh, the Eight of Cups is definitely moving forward, feeling blessed and being guided by the stars or by spirit, I should say. So again, um, I know it's not going to resonate with everyone, but I hope it does. Uh, it'll make sense to whomever it makes sense to. Um, like, share, comment my videos and subscribe to my channel. We will see from each other soon. Bye.